Hi, I'm Mark with Total Pickleball. Welcome to this week's vlog. This time around, I wanted to talk about something I'm receiving definitely a lot of communications emails on, and that is the evolution of paddles, particularly the thermal form, or people refer to them as Gen 2 paddles versus Gen 1, which would be a raw carbon paddle, just not thermal formed or heat pressed. Um, displayed here, we've got examples of paddles that appear to be the same. Each one kind of has an equivalent that is either cold pressed, traditional uh, construction, or thermal formed, and we'll kind of go through each of these. Um, overall, the construction difference is with a cold pressed sandwich style, it is exactly what it sounds like. You're basically taking a core and then sandwiching it in between two layers of either a fiberglass composite, carbon core, and then epoxy them together and you basically just let it set and cure paddles ready to play with at that point. On the other hand, with these Gen 2 paddles, thermal form, some people call them carbon body, unibody kind of thing, those are the two pieces put together from tip to grip. It's one piece, making it very uh, structurally sound, and they are then put together in a heat press and they are molded together. The energy return difference between a Gen 2 paddle and a Gen 1 is very noticeable. It's almost like an aluminum baseball bat versus a wood bat. The energy return based on the aluminum material itself is almost eager and patient to kick the ball off there where the wood absorbs it. So definitely your traditional paddle construction is a little more uh, control oriented, not so eager and lively. Um, overall, are these paddles going to go anywhere? No, I think there's a market for both of them. You're getting a little more control and cushion, definitely out of a traditional paddle construction. You're getting a little bit more propulsion and easy power off of one that is thermoform. So we'll start off with these two carbon paddles. The one here that's the Power Series 1X looks exactly the same as the Carbon 1. This is the thermoform paddle. This one would be the cold press construction. Both of these are exhibiting the same core width, length, shape, everything. This definitely is gonna be a livelier paddle overall. This one's gonna take a little bit more swing speed to get the ball moving where you like. And then moving on, I think in our system right now, we've got about 22 thermoform paddles. They've got equivalents of 14 and 16 millimeters. The next one would be the Electrum Model E. This is definitely another very lively paddle, easy to play with, elongated design. And again, Gen 2 thermoform paddle. And then on to the uh, Yola, the CFS 16, it looks almost like, with the, uh, with the exception of the shape, like the Scorpius. However, when you get into the internals of it, look under the hood, you can definitely tell there is a huge difference. Underneath this edge guard right here, you're gonna see just basically raw poly polypropylene. There's no edge guard. I peeled this off and that is what's exposed. You can tell the handle is broken off here. So these paddles, though they perform very well, they're definitely not as durable as what a lot of players would hope for. Um, that said, I'm gonna move on to the newer Ben Johns Perseus. This was another return and I went ahead and had this one sawed in half and tried as much as I could. I couldn't remove the entire edge guard. So I've got this exposed around here and you can definitely see the clamshell uh, kind of effect, how it wraps around. And then inside, if we can kind of focus in on that, you can see the foam edge guard. This is injected or wrapped around it prior to the edge guard being put on. This definitely improves the structural rigidity, energy return, dampening qualities. It definitely does a lot for paddle performance and feel. So there is a huge difference in these paddles. And again, this was the Ben John CFS 16 cold press style. And this is the newer Thermoform Scorpius that Colin uh, Johns is using on tour. Uh, moving on, definitely kind of uh, tip of the spear uh, paddle technology. We have a Malice Pro. There's also a DB that has a soft grommet in the throat here. Edgeless technology, definitely a beautiful paddle. It is merging kind of with tennis. You can see the airflow uh, through here. And this is what they call a carbon design unibody. Definitely a very lively paddle. And then if we go back to the yield traditional Evoke Premier, this is an extremely lively paddle as well, but not as powerful as the Malice, no doubt about it. Both great paddles. There's definitely a market for both. Um, but you're just definitely gonna get a kind of different feel and level of performance out of it. Last but not least, we're looking at a Diadem Warrior version two. This one is a 19 millimeter core and it too is a generation two thermal form paddle. Very lively, but by virtue of the core, it definitely gives you a really high degree of control uh, mixed in with that power. And then lastly, we're gonna go back to the traditional construction. We've got our lilac version of the uh, Warrior Edge from Diadem. And this is a traditional paddle. It's outstanding, raw carbon, very spin friendly. So whether or not you're choosing an older style paddle or a brand new one, we have a paddle for you. That's about all I have for you this week. If you wanna learn anything more about these paddles, paddle construction, or anything else pickleball related, be sure and visit totalpickleball.com.